we're uh, here at downtown Banff. It's bitterly cold, but there's something exciting happening. What do you guess this is? Yeah? It's a boat. It's not a boat. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a snow carving. We're going to find out about that a little bit later. And guess what? Our people invited us. Sid Fraser, thank you very much for giving us a chance to tell your story. We're going to tell this one. It's going to be a good one. Come with us. What's happening behind me? What uh, is happening behind you is our first official snow carving exposition. First of all, how many carvers are involved in this? Well, we have uh, six teams and they're, each team is about two to three uh, people. More than one person carving at the same time? What, why is Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Out of the sheer size. Out of the sheer size. These are 10 feet by 10 feet wide and 10 feet in depth. And that one is actually close to 20. Uh, we have that one is 12 feet by 12 feet by 10 feet high and then another 8 foot on top. And they just strip the forms, which is you're seeing they're scraping off the uh, the black is just some form oil. This is our first time using natural snow and this snow is trucked in from Fortress. I'm perplexed. Why do this? Why, why get involved with all this logistics and getting the right snow and getting people to bam? What's the, what's the whole idea? Well, there is nothing more beautiful than taking something that's in the mountains. Who doesn't like to play with snow? You know, the first snow carving ever is the snowman. And it's about the, the pageantry and the celebration of snow, which we have six months out of the year. What are you making? Uh, we've got a maquette over here on the, the stump. We're doing a, it's a beaver lodge. There's some beaver in there and there's being like a wolf coming around the backside. Did you come up with a design for the maquette there? Well, you know, uh, we're doing this, uh, the park had some say that they wanted to do something that was kind of more natural. We had a different design, but then we kind of altered it and uh, turned it into a little dioramic vignette. We'll see how it works. What are you making? A uh, big grizzly uh, mother in a cup. That accent, where are you from? I don't have one. <laughs> Come on, you uh, grew up in Montreal. There you go. Yeah. See, even Montreal is <laughs> here. You guys all the way from uh, from Holland to come and do some carving, or do yeah. you locals? No, we're from the Netherlands. What are you guys making here behind me? We are making a salmon in a canoe in a wave. Who came up with the design? Because that sounds pretty pretty complex. Well, we are looking for the theme this year and it's like bears and wolves and some Inuit things and we thought, hey, let's try the Inuit uh, style this year. What's the best part of this whole experience of snow carving? Is it the travel? Was it the creation part of it? Meeting other carvers, that's it's always good. Having uh, new connections and seeing new work out there. Why? Why do you do it? It's just it's cold, uh -huh. it takes long, uh, it's hard work. Well, in terms of you know taking long to, to be able to make a, a sculpture that this size and magnitude is actually you know it's pretty fast. It could last for weeks and weeks. Right? Well, if you know how cold it's been in Alberta this year, then you're obviously going to see this for a little while longer. We hope it. I love winter. I'm, I love Canada and I've uh, been involved in many, many events uh, from the beginning and I, um, I get excited for people to come here and see our splendor and showcase our locals and for other people. I'm really proud of where, we, where we're from. 